Hello, pretty people. Welcome to Simply, Simply Delish Duo. Today, we are going to make something super easy. Super, super, super duper easy. We are going to be making Rice Krispie Squares. As you can see, we've got, I've actually, uh, I've got eight cups of Rice Krispies. I found this uh, special edition Rice Krispie. It's a spring, spring edition. So you'll notice that there's some green and blue oh, wow. Rice Krispies in there. I kind of wish they would have put some pink ones in there too. But, yeah, and purple. Oh, and yeah. oh yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> oh well, so yeah, so I've got eight cups of Rice Krispies, two bags of marshmallows. Now, normally it doesn't, most recipes do not ask for two bags. I like my Rice Krispies super gooey, marshmallowy. So that's why I'm adding more than I should. So we'll be having, we'll be adding two bags of marshmallows. And these are 250 gram bags. We'll need a teaspoon of vanilla. Three teaspoons of, I'm using salted butter. You can use unsalted. Also, you can use um, coconut oil. I've seen people use coconut oil if you've got like a, a dairy allergy. Coconut oil works great, but I'm gonna go with a simple traditional and use salted butter. And you will need a baking pan or a pan. I'm just gonna use this glass pan here. And I like my Rice Krispies thick. So that's why this pan looks a little smaller than it should, but uh, I used to work at a place where um, there was a market close by, and you should have seen the Rice Krispies that they were selling. They were practically as big as my head. So I like big, thick Rice Krispies. And also I use um, wax paper so then the Rice Krispies don't stick. And you will also need cooking spray. And I'm gonna actually put some on my wax paper. Even though it has a waxy film already, it doesn't hurt to add a bit more just to, so it doesn't stick. So let's get started here. Um, I'm going to also spray, even though there's butter in my pan, I'm also gonna put some cooking spray in the pan just so then an extra layer of protection as well as my spatula. You don't have to do this. I just do it because I don't want anything sticking. So let's begin. So now you can see I've got my butter all melted. I'm going to throw in my marshmallows. Like I know I should be using the mini marshmallows for this. They melt easier, but I couldn't find the mini ones. They were all out of them at my local grocery store. And with what's going on in the world today, I didn't want to go from grocery store to grocery store looking for mini marshmallows. So, you know, I put this on, I had it on um, max, like high heat, just to get the butter melted, but now I turned it down um, to medium. So we'll just keep it there for a bit and just wait for the marshmallows to melt. All right, now you can see the marshmallow is all melted. So now I'm going to put our vanilla in. Put that aside and just give it a nice mix to incorporate that vanilla. I love the smell of vanilla. Vanilla and coffee, actually. Mm -hmm. So let's just give this a good mix. And we will dump this mixture into, actually it's not totally mixed yet, but we want to dump the marshmallow mixture into this bowl. And this is where I will need your help because this pot is extremely hot here. So what I'll let you do is move this way. And how are we gonna do this? Yeah, just dump it in. Let me just go over here. We cut it off there. But what we'll do here is we will just get the rest of this and I will mix it and I'll be back in a minute while this is all mixed. Okay, so now it's all mixed together and we're just gonna put it all in here. You know what? Mm -hmm. What I use? I use my hands. Yeah, I was gonna say. Well, you hold on to the, the bowl. Mm -hmm. Hold on to the bowl. And I'm going to actually switch. No, I'm going to, this is a trick I use. I get my 
cooking spray. You don't have to videotape me here. What I do is get my cooking spray and spray my hands with cooking spray. So then now, nothing will stick. Yeah, that's good enough. We don't need the whole thing here. No. Perfect. Yeah. Alrighty. Good to go. And I just pat it down into my bowl. I should say into my pan. See, it doesn't stick. I use a cooking spray. I should have sprayed my fingers. And there you go. This is my ooey gooey Rice Krispie squares. Again, I've used extra marshmallows because I like mine nice and soft. Oh, and I have a tip with Rice Krispie squares. You can freeze them. I didn't know that you, uh, you could freeze Rice Krispie squares, but I have before, and it lasts for six weeks, so that's good to know. So this is it. This is our recipe. Thank you for watching. Simply, Simply Delicious, delicious Duo. Duo.